New tonight, a story that combines a sense of community with the push to improve our environment. Our John Henry stopped by this year's Youth Environment Summit in Southeast DC to see what it's all about. Around 200 children came together today for this year's Youth Environment Summit. It was all about showing them why the environment matters. Thursday, students from five DC high schools all gathered next to Oxen Run Creek in Ward 8 to learn about the world around them. This program is called the DC Youth Environmental Summit and our goal is for the students to create local action for global impact. And they were taught a lot too, everything from lessons on water conservation and cooking to meditation. Also have them in an outdoor classroom that the green screen runs here at the well where the kids will be planting all types of fruits, vegetables and herbs. His group, the Green Scheme, the DC Department of Parks and Recreation and the farm, the well at Oxen Run all helped plan the event, which they say gives kids valuable skills like how to address food scarcity. What does it mean to have the seeds and the skill set and the land and the resources and the water to actually be able to feed yourself? Her 14 year old son participated in today's event too. I volunteer, I help plant, and sometimes I clean up the creek. My friends should be out here because they need to get more sunlight. Mm -hmm. It even allows him to better get to know himself. I meditate sometimes in the flower garden. Halim Flowers participated as the event's keynote speaker. He spent decades behind bars after being accused of crimes he did not commit. He said these children need to take advantage of these opportunities given to them. You can still, with your imagination, you can be a, a success. You can impact the world constructively. In other words, it's all about planting a seed. When you provide people with access and education, then it opens up the mind. One more cool thing, one child at that event actually got free tickets to the Broccoli City Music Festival. John Henry, WUSA 9.